I just want to say something. If you love your husbands that much, okay, you would do your damnest. So make sure they ain't on that goofy ass shit with the people. You will call them out on their fuckery when you know your niggas is fucking up. But a lot of you wise of these goofy ass conscious niggas, you don't say nothing. Y'all don't say nothing to these niggas. Y'all sit back and y'all just on the bandwagon. Y'all just on the bandwagon. None of y'all will say anything. Y'all wouldn't even bad word. Because probably nine times out of ten, he got you on a chokehold somewhere and put you on silence to keep you from saying something. Maybe. That's just what it is. I don't fucking know. But it's so ironic that this particular nigga, his woman, come for my ass. But now one time I ever seen this woman jump on any platform, right? Or say anything to anybody that mentioned her husband's name. Not one fucking time. Not one time did I see anybody. Did I see this woman come for anyone that her husband encountered issue with? Not anybody in the clubhouse. Not anybody on that nigga side of the platform. Not anybody on any platform. But when I said something, right, and point this nigga out as an intellectual masturbator, Oh, homegirl talking all bold and gangster and shit. Talking about some, you don't want to see my face. Because I said that your husband's anti-African. If you can't see that shit, then you a blind motherfucker. If you can't see that your husband's anti-African, bitch, you blind. If you can't see that your husband is intellectually masturbating, mean that he's stroking his own ego... Just so he can go against other people who may not know as much as him and shit on people, then you blind, motherfucker. And that's what it is. A lot of these chicks that get with these conscious ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? They just riding the fence with them. That's all they doing, they riding the fence. It's like they being groupies. You know what I'm saying? And that's was that was the type of vibe that I got from this chick about her husband, supposedly. That's the type of vibe I got from her. She's a damn groupie. So the reason why that individual came for me is because her nigga. Sent her to me. That's what it was. Because otherwise she would have never known that his name was up there. Unless he had, he had to say something to her. Because I made a video in the past about this nigga. Right? And his little anti-African rhetoric. And that one time I saw this chick. But then this chick sees my name. Or sees his name up there. Now, so she coming for me. Now, you didn't come for me on your own way. You came for me because your nigga said something to you. That's what it was. Your nigga told you that I was making a video about his ass. And you came for me. That's what it was. I'm just telling you right now, you, you, you wise of these niggas. Y'all better start paying attention to the red flesh. Y'all better start paying attention to what y'all niggas out here doing. But then half of y'all know, and y'all don't give a damn. Y'all don't give a shit. Y'all know what y'all niggas be out here doing. Y'all don't say shit to y'all niggas. Maybe because y'all scared of him. I don't know what it is. Maybe you scared. Maybe he's abusing you. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't keep up with people's personal lives. I don't ask no question. Hell, I didn't even know the nigga was married to this goddamn woman. 
I didn't know shit, rat tail shit about this goddamn woman. I didn't know this nigga was married. She's like, you know, you got to be careful what you say to these men because they got wives at home. Bitch, I don't know that. I don't know that you fucking married to this man. I don't know how long y'all been married. That ain't my business, though. But I know one thing, if you ain't paying attention to what your nigga out here doing, reading between the lines, and you ain't checking your nigga by his ego, then that's a problem. But sound like to me, you scared of your own nigga. That's what it sounds like. It sound like to me, he got you scared to say anything to him. So it seemed like he done gave out commands for you to come for me, and you follow me. This chick done follow me through every fucking uh, social media platform. She done went for my YouTube. She done follow me on Facebook. Then this chick done follow me on Clubhouse. Well, damn, bitch. How the fuck did you know who I was? How the fuck did you know who I was? You knew who I was because of your husband. Your husband told you some shit about me. That's what the fuck it was. He, he told you who the fuck I was. And he sent your ass after me. He sent your ass after me. Now, if the nigga would have came on the platform, right, we would have had a solid conversation. I wouldn't have had no problem expressing to him more. You know what I'm saying? But he got to be willing to listen. He can't be going around right him being dogmatic and thinking he going to talk over people and people ain't got no right to say nothing. No, 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 no. He ain't going to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, he been around that nigga side net in them too long. And he think that it's okay. See, they let him get away with that shit up there in New York. They let him get away with saying what the fuck he want to say to people. And how he want to say it to people. Me, I'm not going to tolerate that shit. You know what I'm saying? As I said before, when you say how you want to say to me, I'm going to come back at you. And yeah, it don't matter if I'm a female or not. Respect is respect, buddy. That's how it goes. Respect is motherfucking respect. So my thing is, if you don't check your nigga, if you females out there that's married to these men, that's in this conscious community, that's doing fuckery and shit, if you don't check the niggas that's doing the fuckery or that's out here trying to uh, get over people or disrespecting other people and shit, then don't call yourself trying to check the uh, next person about your nigga fuck up, about the red flag that your nigga put out there. I don't give a damn how many books your nigga done read, okay? I don't give a fuck. That man can read 200,000 books. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how many books the nigga done read. I don't give a shit how many motherfucking people he, how how long he been in this shit. I don't give a damn. That don't fucking matter. What matters is, what is your intention? That's what matters the most. What is your damn intentions? What is your main purpose? That's what matters the most. Not how many fucking books you read. Not how long you been on the YouTube channel doing all this shit. It don't fucking matter. It don't fucking matter. As I said before, they do put out great contents. They put out great information. They do all that shit. It's great. Each one, teach one, put out great content. But at the end of the day, he wasn't the only motherfucker that's talking about the shit. And he ain't going to be the last motherfucker talking about this shit. Okay? So that goes for this goofy ass broad about her husband. Your husband ain't the only motherfucker that's been talking about this. There's been people that came way before him. That spoke on subjects about pan-Africanism, African history, and all of that shit. Okay? But they just have not gained recognition. Because they don't have uh, what you call the popularity. And the reason why people really follow your husband is because of his person that he's popular on Sinetta. That's why. That's why people tune in to him. Because he known for doing a whole lot of debating shit on Sinetta. Which, it ain't nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, cool, whatever. But please don't act like your husband is the most top-notch intellectual ass motherfucker on the planet. 
Don't act like your husband is the world's greatest scholar. And my whole thing is, let me better explain why I did those videos. Because these same motherfuckers would not even bat an eye against somebody outside the unconscious community. They would not go and challenge people at actual colleges and university. They wouldn't go and challenge these Europeans the way they challenge these black people in the conscious community. They wouldn't dare do that shit. Them motherfuckers, you put them motherfuckers at some type, somebody's college and university to go challenge the scholarship, go challenge their sources, go challenge the information, they couldn't do it. A lot of them motherfuckers ain't got the balls to do that shit. But they sure in the hell don't have a problem with challenging folks that we know is pseudo. I mean, it's easy to challenge people that pseudo is shit. It's so easy. It ain't hard to do. It ain't that hard to do. But if you just constantly just antagonizing the pseudos all day and your argument is just Hebrew versus the Egyptian and all this shit and the only thing you can do is combat against them on that. Like, you ain't proving nothing. You ain't proving shit. You ain't done shit outside of the conscious community. All you do is just bring it entertainment. So again, it's about intellectual combat versus intellectual application. Okay? And uh I want to share something. So for that motherfucker that says that I don't do no reading, okay, I can, as a matter of fact, I can go around here and show you how many books I have. I can do all that shit. See? I can do that shit. Look. I have books over here too. What the fuck that means? That's just part of my archive. What the fuck that what what does that mean exactly? Exactly what that means. Because I have thousands of books. What does that mean? That don't mean nothing. That does not equate to a person's knowledge. That doesn't mean that because somebody has so many books or read so many books that they better than the next man or next woman. Because they not. Until I could see that this individual, right, and all the rest of the motherfuckers who's supposed to be the gatekeeper of the conscious community can go out there and actually challenge people. Outside of the country's community, if you can go actually challenge some Europeans, right, and do some actual proper debate, educational debate. If you can do that, then I can say, okay, you up to something. But until then, you ain't showing, you ain't proving shit. You just going in a circle. So all it is is just a bunch of circus. It's just a bunch of circus. So get mad if you want to. But if you can't call your nigga out on his shit, don't try to correct, don't come at the next man. If you can't call your nigga out for his ego, don't call, don't, don't even try to check the next person. So I'm just letting you know the wise of these niggas in the conscious community. Before you try to check somebody else, find out exactly what's going on. Find out what it is, okay? This chick didn't even ask me, hey, what's going on? What was the reason for you to even make a video about my husband? She didn't even ask, well, what's going on? Tell me exactly why. What would make you decide to make the video? What did my husband say? What was going on? So that, that way we can better bring about assessment. And had she done it like that, she would have never got cussed out. She would never got dolled the fuck out. She would never got disrespected. Had she came to me 
in the way, but in all this, oh, keep my husband's name out your mouth. Keep your uh, my husband's name out your mouth. You don't want no problem with me. No, that ain't how you do it, bitch. That's not how you do it, bitch. Yeah, don't come on my YouTube channel talking about some just keep my keep your husband's name out my mouth. You ain't even asked what was the purpose, what was the reason. What was my reason behind it? You ain't even asked no question. So that nigga sent your ass over there to check me. That's exactly what he did. But you know what? Either that's either here or there. <laughs> But I just want to say that, you know, I just wanted to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that anybody that you listen to, okay, find out what their intentions are first. What is their whole agenda? And see, a lot of us, we got caught up because we we under, we was listening to the rhetoric they was talking about. You know, so we was listening to the information. We was like, wow, this information is powerful. woo dee woo You know what I'm saying? But we never asked, well, what was their intentions? What was their whole purpose here? What was the whole goal here? We wasn't asking that. We was ignoring that the whole time. Because we was caught up on what that person was saying and what the person was talking about. We were caught up on the personality and not even asking what's the intention. So you have to find out the intentions first. You have to find out exactly what what drives the person to, uh, what motivates them to actually deal with history or any type of information. And I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it with some boldness. A lot of the motherfucking cats over there in that Sinetta channel and all that shit, them niggas over there, they doing it just to gain intellectual victory. It's all about victory. It ain't about enlightenment. It ain't about bringing wisdom. It ain't about educating the people. It's about victory, victory, victory. It's about seeing who's smarter than who. Who's better than the next man. It's about stroking somebody's ego. That's all the shit is about. That's all the shit is about. Stroking somebody, stroking each other ego. Seeing who's smarter than the, who, the next person. And you uh, come back in people with... In, uh, Using intellectual combat as a way to belittle other people, put people down, make people feel stupid, make people feel less of themselves, right? They doing it just to bring about the entertainment aspect of it as opposed to educational aspect. That's what it's all about. That's exactly what it's all about. So, anyways, y'all have a good one. Y'all be safe, and until next time, y'all take it easy. And if you want to check out my YouTube channel, it's Tiffany89. Check out my channel, Peace and Power Elevation. Be to all of you. This your girl, Tiffany, and I'm out. Deuces.